from She Farms It. For those of you who have always wanted to raise your own backyard chickens, but weren't quite sure where to begin, come along as I share with you how to start with day old chickens to ensure that you're giving them the best growing conditions so later they'll yield you meat and or delicious eggs. What supplies do you need for your baby chicks? First of all is a container to put them in. This is a livestock trough, which will work just fine. You could even use a plastic container, like a plastic tub, depending on how many chicks you're getting. Some type of bedding. This happens to be fancy cedar, only because the farm store was out of pine, but the cedar does smell nice, so that'll make your garage smell good. You can use whatever type of bedding that you wanna use. Here is the feeder, and this is just a regular poultry feeder. I will bury it down a little bit. They're gonna kick a bunch of sawdust into it. They're a little messy, that's just how chickens are. But when they're little, they'll be figuring everything out and where it is. A heat lamp, so they have some type of heat source. And you'll notice it's a red bulb. We prefer the red bulb because chickens cannot see red light and it produces heat for them. So you'll want to use a thermometer to test your temperature to determine how high to put this. So if the chicks are down here, it needs to be 95 degrees of what they can feel for the first week that you have them. And then you raise it up enough to be five degrees cooler every single week until they either have feathers or until you're, you're close to what room temperature would be to where they're, they're comfortable. You're also gonna need something for watering. So this is a poultry watering system and I've got it soaking with some bleach water right now because I've used it in the past. And then you'll notice I have a rock sitting right here. I actually have all the rocks in here. I'm gonna line this entire water pan with rocks to prevent birds from accidentally falling in and drowning. Poultry need fresh water, fresh food, and heat to get them started on the right foot. I mentioned feed, so I have a chick starter. I prefer a medicated chick starter. It's for coccidiosis prevention. I also have an electrolyte mix that you just mix in with the water, uh, one packet to a gallon of water, and then you change that out. It's supposed to change it out every day. I typically do every few days, as long as the water isn't dirty. I'll dump this, but keep, keep it in, in that so it lasts a little longer. I would also recommend that you do some research on where you buy your chickens from. So I go directly from a hatchery so that I can have a vaccine called Merrick's vaccine done with the chickens prior to getting them. Again, it starts them off on a good foot, but this Merrick's disease is a viral infection that is transferred amongst all poultry, including wild birds. And so if you live out in the country, it could be potentially an issue that you would see. The biggest disadvantage to this disease is there's no cure for it. And so for me, I think prevention is worth more than trying to treat because it's deadly for the birds. Um, so I would encourage you to do some research and determine if, if that's a good fit for you. The other thing I would encourage you to do is determine if you're getting females or males. So males are the broilers. It's what we raise for meat birds or a rooster, uh, depending on what you're, what you're getting. But then we also can get what we call pullets. Those are your females. And when they reach sexual maturity and start laying, that's what we consider then a hen. You do not have to have a rooster or the male present to get eggs from your female. She'll start laying, depending on the breed, four to six months of age. It just depends on the breed. So think about what it is that you really want to put into your backyard flock and what does your space allow. This is a good setup that will work just fine for baby chicks. How long can I keep them in here? Well, they do start to fly at a certain age once they get their feathers and they would get crowded at some point. And so I have a, a big coop that allows them to go outside and roam freely that I put them in once they get a little bit bigger. Day old baby chicks. I would recommend when you get them to help them find the water. So I like to take them and just dip their beak in just a little bit. And then they'll kind of, you can tell they've got some water in their mouth. But that way they know where the water is. And then they'll figure out where feed is. Notice that I have um, kind of right in the back of the tank here, the heat lamp on, so that way they can stay nice and warm, pay attention to that temperature. But more importantly, just make sure right now that they know where their water is, they know where the feed is, and then keep it in the right temperature. And check up on them daily.